Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to talk about how to get sharp images from Olympus OMD system. Some people claim that sharpness is a bourgeois concept. I strongly disagree with that. I think sharpness is very important in photography because to me, photography is a representation of reality, even just a small slice of reality. When I look around with my eyes, I see everything crystal clear and I want to represent that in my photographs. Feel free to disagree with me. It is extremely crucial to get your images sharp while you are shooting, you got everything right in camera because if your images are not sharp, if they are blurred because of camera shake or slightly out of focus, then you will never be able to recover the sharpness while in post. If you have wrong white balance settings, your colors are a bit, is a bit off, you have a little bit slightly underexposed images or overexposed images, you can still correct those with adjustments in post processing. But if your images are not sharp, there's nothing you can do in your computer. There's no amount of Photoshop that can save your blurry main subject in your photograph. Get it right in camera. And here is why I'm sharing these five tips on how to achieve sharpness in your images using OMD cameras. Tip number one, move the focusing point to the area exactly where you want it to be in focus. This is a crucial step I never skip for every single photograph that I take. Just simply move the focusing point around the screen. You have enough focusing points to play with. Find the area that you wish to be in perfect focus. Place the focusing area there. Half press the shutter button and take your shot. If the focusing area is exactly at where you want, you will get pin sharp images. Now, I don't trust center focus and recompose. I will show you why. Because the distance change, the focal plane change, and if you recompose the image, there is a very dangerous chance of getting slightly out of focus image. Tip number two, stop down your aperture. All lenses, all lenses will benefit from stopping down just a little bit instead of shooting wide open say f1.8 if you stop down to f2.8 or even 5.6 you will notice an increase of sharpness Using aperture priority, I can control the F number freely. Now I'm shooting at F1.8 wide open. I will show you that the image, it is good, it's very decent. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this. In fact, I would perfectly use this with no issues. But if you just stop it down a little bit, say F5.6. Now, we will compare the images that we have taken. There is some difference. It is quite noticeable. Tip number three, use anti-shock. Now, anti-shock is a way to reduce shutter vibrations. You can find it here, uh, anti-shock denoted by the diamond shape. And by default, it is not available. You can't find it there. So you have to dive into menu two, go to anti-shock silent, dive into it, 
Then you will go for the zero second anti-shock. Make sure that it's turned on, right? Zero second, so that there's no delay. And once zero second anti-shock is activated, you will see that the camera is less prone to shutter vibrations or shutter shock, which is a phenomenon that happens when you use a longer focal length or at certain shutter speeds where the camera can actually cause a little bit of softness due to shutter vibrations. Tip number four, shutter speed. Watch your shutter speed. Make sure that it is fast enough to get rid of handshake or else there'll be some softness or blur in your images. When using a longer focal length, there is higher chance for the camera to shake while hand holding. Now I'm using the 45mm lens, I'm using dangerously slow shutter speed now and you will see that there is noticeable handshake causing blur in the image. Just by ensuring that I have faster shutter speed, usually just use wider aperture or higher shutter speed, then with safe shutter speeds, you will guarantee that there is no handshake and you get pin sharp images. Finally, tip number five, don't drink coffee. I'm kidding, sorry about that. Well, this tip is applicable for you if you are shooting JPEG. Be careful of the noise filter. If you have set your noise filter to standard or high, you will get cleaner high ISO results, meaning that the noise will be reduced but at the same time, the fine details and overall sharpness of your image will also be affected. I normally would recommend to set the noise filter to low or just turn it off completely. You can find the noise filter settings in the camera menu under the Cox. Then on the E1 noise filter, uh, if you turn it high, let's see what happens. I don't recommend this. Should you get noise filter high, it will smoothen out the noise, but it will also make all the fine details disappear. You get a very smooth result. You don't see traces of noise, but you don't see any hint of sharpness as well. Uh, to me, I actually prefer it to be turned off or used at noise filter low. Uh, I don't really mind a little bit of noise in my images as long as the structural integrity is maintained. Now, you can see there is more fine detail captured. That's all the tips I have to share in this video. I hope you have found those five tips useful and I really hope that the next time you go out and shoot with your Olympus OMD, you will acquire sharp, sharp, sharp results. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to this channel. I will do my best to do more videos and I will definitely see you again in the next one. In the meantime, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.